the B-roll, hey? Gary word. Gary word. We are stepping onto a new adventure. Right, day one. At the, at the trailhead in Mount Zero. Here's my running buddies, Steve and Madge. 50k to Hall Scat. Let's 50. do this. GPT, 100. GPT, let's go. Course recce. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Gary Word country. Have a look at these views. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah, Handy. one here. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Cool, cool, cool. First hut. Very nice. 12 k's in. Water point. Untreated though. Little OG um, Bushman's hut. Lock man. Pretty sweet downhill. Like oh, well, we. the trail is built very much mountain bike style. Like very cool running, flowy. And we have Ooh, la, la. mom and dad meeting us for the first aid station. Woo. Look at this. 
for us. It's in the fridge now. Lovely. Don't worry, Madge, we'll, e we'll edit that out. We'll, <laughs> we'll make sure that it looks like you've just right. arrived with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty bloody good. Just saying, I haven't ran many better 18k stretches of trail in my life. This is waterfalls, cliffs, beautiful flowy trail. Bloody incredible, mate. Yeah, I literally can't stop getting the GoPro out at the moment. This place is just like, next level. This trail is like, literally incredible. Not even 20K in yet. Probably already filmed half an hour of footage and I think I've only got an hour of memory for the whole thing, so incredible. Hey mate, how's it hey, going? Good, good. Hey, hey. thanks mate. Stay away to heaven. This place is insane. So this is 24k in. These huts are pretty luxury, to be honest. We started Mount Zero over there, ran 15k's to the car park down here. Rose, Rose, can't remember. Rose's Gap, and we climbed all the way up here. But yeah. Good spot to relax. So we just uh, saw mum and dad at the second aid station, the Mount Difficult Road. Um, we had some sandwiches, some chips and drink, and it was uh, pretty needed. Um, feeling good though, 38K in, about 11 to go now and uh, yeah it's just been a really good day quite warm out um, coming out of winter not used to that but I got plenty of water so we're all good and yeah it's just been epic views all day loving it that's a wrap Fifty Ks, two thousand meters of climbing. Pretty good fifty K. Amazing run from Mount Zero to Hall's Gap. Now it's time to get a gelato. That's right. Day two. We are walking from our accommodation to the Hall's Gap. We're running to Jimmy Creek Road today. Fifty five K. 3,000 meters of climbing. I think this will be probably the hardest day. Touch of the information center. Information center. So now we have officially we done can go the, for the FKT. proper FKT route. This is one of the easier running stretches.
sun's coming out. From the clouds to blue skies. bouldery and rocky more of a hike but um absolutely beautiful definitely somewhere to take your time save some energy and appreciate the beautiful trail down into Burrow Huts campground probably well, 21k today maybe 72k into the whole trail we've had this like super nice 5k plus downhill on very runnable trail just like this, which um, is just awesome, especially in the middle of a hundred mile, to be able to just tick off, you know, five k's very easily. So, loving it. Burrow, Burrow Hut Campground Aid Station. Made it. Mount William Car Park, we made it. Good man. It was pretty rough section. Pretty rocky. Hard on the legs. But we made it. 30, 37.5k in, so 80, almost 88k. So this section of trail just past Mount William is no, slowish going, but absolutely amazing beautiful views not many trees around Day three, 55 Ks, 3,000 meters. Finishing in Dunkeld at the brewery.
beautiful, isn't it? We were, um, we were warned about this section, saying it was going to be real sketchy and slow, but it's actually been pretty good so far. And we're 8k, 8k, oh sorry, 5k through it. So, so far so good. And it's about a 11k stretch, so. Um, almost halfway through it and it's been super, super good. Actually, it's pretty runnable most of the time until you get to these rocky sections. Runnable. I think they must have done more work on it since they first finished it because we've heard that this section wasn't very good but it's just so so good and their views are insane William Hall's Gap started right at the end and we're going to uh, Dunkeld got to go to Mount Abrupt, Mount Sturgeon before there but this section through here from basically oh, I mean Mount William to here has been just so sweet lots of running above above the trees awesome views and just like technical trail at times but sometimes like super super flowy such a good mix of terrain What's this aid station called, Mum? This is called Wenon. No, it's called Griffin, Griffin Fire Trailhead. Line. Griffin Trailhead. And it's a good car park. It, the road is apparently a little bit ruddy, but you could probably do it in a two wheel. Yeah. It's some kind of butterfly. Mount Abrupt. Um, so, really, only one climb to go. Um, about 15k ish to go. 
Um, this is one of the well-known mountains along the route. About 20 meters to the summit, and uh, we're loving it. Just got my first view of um, Dunkeld, which is the town we're finishing in down there. Last climb done. Now I just need to go down to the town and have some dinner. Coming into Dunk Hill. Finish line. About three day running of the Grampian Peaks truck. Find the uh, information center. There's the big eye. There it is. Oh, oh. You, you. That's the. Uh, which one? Touch the door, touch the sign. Let's just touch the sign. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it like one, two, three. Let's do it like hard rock. Ah, oh, you gotta kiss the, kiss the door. Pick nice. Good work. Well done. Nice work, boys. Good work. Well done. And it looks like we've beaten mom and dad. They're probably they're probably at the, the cafe having a beer already. I'd say. That was it. That's a pretty good spot, actually. Yeah. Come here, it's like right it's next like, to the... So good. Alright, now it's time for some food and a beer. <laughs>